Hi everyone! For this lesson I rode my bike from school all the way down to a place called Gravelly Point, which is a park just north of the airport. Gravelly Point is a great place to visit if you're like me and you nerd out about airplanes a little bit. On this day, winds were blowing north, so airplanes were directed by the control tower to land on the runway flying south. More on that later. As this airplane flies right above us, pay attention to its wings. Coming down behind the wings at, a, at an angle sloping downward are something called flaps. The pilots of the airplane will deploy flaps before landing. That is, flaps will be deployed while the airplane is still flying. But watch the wings closely again right after the airplane touches down. Right now something new popped up on the wings, this time going at the opposite angle. These are called spoilers. Spoilers, unlike flaps, angle up and away from the wing. So flaps which angle down are deployed while the plane's still flying, but spoilers which angle up only come up once the airplane has landed. Why might that be? Let's go to the whiteboard. Okay, welcome to the whiteboard. Now, what we have here is a view of an airplane's wing seen from the side. So that means the rest of the airplane might look something like this. There's the tail. Here are the windows. Here's someone who's afraid of flying. Here's someone who's having a great time, etc. So, the wing viewed from the side. What we noticed in the video, I hope, was that before the airplane touched down, it extended its flaps. Recall that flaps hang down below the wing like that. Because the flaps hang down like that, they can help the pilots manage both takeoff and landing. Now the question is why would the flaps be down before landing and before takeoff? Why would that be helpful? Well, we have to go back to what the air is doing. So as the airplane is moving forward, air will be going across the wing like so. Some will go above the wing, some will go underneath the wing. Now, when the air hits the flaps, the flaps are going to direct it downward like this. So the airflow looks something like that. Why is that helpful? Well, this guy might be able to tell us. Newton said that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That was one of his three laws of motion. Since this flap is directing air downward like this, the equal and opposite reaction is that the wing is then pressed upward. This is called lift. So flaps can help provide lift to an airplane. Think about why that might be helpful when an airplane is landing. When it's landing, the airplane wants to go from the air to the ground. Why would it need to have lift? Think about that. We'll come back to it later. We, un we noticed also that after the airplane touched down, when it was on the ground, spoilers came up, going in the opposite direction. Spoilers do the exact opposite thing that flaps do. Going back to what the air is doing, Newton will have something to say here too. Spoilers direct the air upward and away from the airplane's wing. Remember what Newton said? For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? The reaction to the air being directed upward by the spoilers is that the wing is pressed down. This is called downforce. So why do you think the airplane deploys its spoilers right after it touches down? 
how can downforce be helpful once the plane is safely on the ground? Think about that as well. Now, taken together, spoilers and flaps both change the shape of the wing. One, makes it, one changes it this way and the other changes it this way. Both of these things together are providing another force. Spoilers plus flaps provide drag. They're essentially helping to slow the airplane down. Flaps and spoilers together do that. But back to the wondering we had earlier. Flaps come down before the airplane hits the ground. Spoilers don't come up until the airplane's on the ground. Why might that be? Have you thought about it yet? Well, I hope so. Here comes the answer. Flaps come down before the airplane's on the ground to help with two things. For one thing, flaps help slow the plane down to get it ready to land at a safe speed so that it is going slow enough that its brakes can slow it down before it reaches the other end of the runway. While slowing the airplane down, they're also providing the airplane lift, which means that instead of the airplane coming down really fast like this onto the runway, which might not be safe, Flaps can help an airplane come down more smoothly like this so that it touches down nice and softly and nobody throws up or dies. Now, spoilers will only come up after the airplane's touched down because they provide drag and downforce. Can you imagine if the airplane were flying and suddenly it had a bunch of extra downforce on it? That wouldn't be safe. So instead, the pilots wait until the airplane is on the ground already to add the extra downforce with the spoilers. This helps keep the plane from going up into the air again, and it helps slow the plane down. So. In sum, an airplane's wings have these two structures, flaps and spoilers, which we saw at Gravelly Point. Flaps have the job of slowing the airplane down as it's getting ready to land and also helping keep the plane aloft so that it doesn't hit the ground too hard. Spoilers have the job of slowing the airplane down and also providing downforce after the airplane has hit the ground. Now, you can experience downforce and lift yourself simply by creating spoilers and flaps yourself. Check it out. The exact same con concepts will be in play if you have certain materials you can, you can use. So I'm gonna erase everything except for the spoilers and flaps. And I'll show you something you can try out. I guess we'll leave Newton here too, because Newton's in charge here. Okay, so to experience downforce and lift by creating spoilers and flaps, all you'll need are something like airflow, which can be done with a fan or perhaps the wind. Perhaps if you're riding in the car, you can roll down the window and get some airflow. We need air moving across your spoilers or your flaps if you're going to feel the downforce or the lift. To create the actual spoiler or flap itself, you can either use your hand, like, like this. You can create a spoiler by doing this, right? Matching that angle. Or you can create a flap by doing this, matching that same angle. Try it out. You could also use something like a a cardboard uh, plate. You could use a sturdy sheet of paper. There's a lot of things you can use. The key here though, is that you have to have airflow. Without airflow, none of this will work. All right, so try that out. Something I like to do when I'm riding in the car, if I'm not the one driving, roll down the window, stick out your hand, create a flap by making this angle, 
or create a spoiler by making this angle. And you should be able to experience both lift and downforce. I encourage you to try it out. Please reach out to me if you have any questions. Your parents will have my email address. It's matthew.co at k12.dc.gov. If you have any feedback or questions from this lesson, hit me up there. Until next time, I'll see you later.